so now we've got the tail rotor set up, now it's time for our last and final steps before you can start tuning. We can go to forward programming, make sure throttle cut's on, that's good. And we're going to go to setup here, and we'll go to throttle for this one. We have the fail safe setting. So what that's going to do is in the event that your receivers lose communication, this is the throttle position that it's going to fail safe to. I would say probably low throttle would be good. So I'm going to put my throttle stick all the way down and hit capture fail safe positions. So now the FC 6250HX, if it sees that the receivers disconnect for whatever reason, it's going to make sure that the throttle position goes to what you just captured. Simple enough. Next up is the hover percentage. This percentage is an algorithm that allows the gyros to work a little extra harder to mitigate any tip over as you're trying to take off. So below 65%, is when it's going to start adding in that extra effort to keep the helicopter stable and from tipping over. Once you get above 65%, it's gonna turn that off and it's gonna allow you to do your aerobatics more effectively. What your goal is here, and 65 is a good place to start, is to, once your heli's ready to fly, get it out in front of you, put your throttle curve at a normal zero to 100% and take off and hover. Get it into a nice stable hover and remember where your stick is positioned at that you felt like it had a good hover at. Let's say I took off and I was flying and I felt, okay, yeah, 55%, I've got a, I've got a good hover. That's where I'm, I'm feeling good. It's got a nice stable hover. It's not gaining or losing altitude. That's what I'm gonna put in that number. You can adjust and play around with that to your liking. You could leave it at that. The high, once you get above 65%, it's gonna turn that mitigation off and you're gonna have a more crisp aerobatic flying machine. Next up is gyro settings. Gyro settings is simply the orientation of the flight controller. So we're gonna tap on that, and you'll see here it has a little diagram as to how the flight controller is positioned. Mine is actually positioned in the opposite direction. So I'll change the position, and you'll see you have all these positions that you can choose from. Receiver on its side, receiver upside down, receiver on the other side, and then the receiver with the pins facing towards the tail of the helicopter. That's what I'm gonna choose for this particular setup. There we go. What this is used for is it, it needs to know the orientation of the gyro so it can best effectively counteract any movements that it's trying to keep from happening. If you have that backwards, you could have a bad day. Lastly, I would recommend doing a calibration. This is why we need the bubble level. You go to calibrate sensor, and we'll go ahead and put the bubble level on top of the flight controller. And we're going to move the tail until it looks like the bubble is in the center. We're gonna hit begin. Ah, here's one thing, it's not giving us a confirmation. It would be a green light if it was level. You'll get a red light like we see here if it's not level, see? If it's not level, I think it's gonna be red. And it's kind of blinking like that because it's getting some sort of vibration. And that's because my motor's beeping. Let's go ahead and unplug a motor wire. Now that my motor's not beeping, and we've got it level. There we go. Blue light on there means that the calibration has been completed. And now it's complete. And the last, but most important step is to do some pre-flight checking of our aircraft before we put her into the sky. It is important that you do this every time you fly just to make sure that everything is working properly. Let's go ahead and go down our pre-flight checklist. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that we're bound up. So we wanna double check that both of our receivers light up once we apply power. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go back to my main screen, plug in my battery. All right, good, we got that light. Let's turn it around and see if we got the other one. Okay, we're bound, good. That one's checked off the list. Next up, let's make sure that our swash is moving all the correct direction. So let's give, oh, of course, let's make sure we're in hold mode. 
like that. Positive pitch, negative pitch. Positive pitch, negative pitch. Good, we're all good there. All right, let's check our swash plate directions. We're gonna go pitch forward. This wash plate should move forward. Perfect. And back. Great. Left. And right. Great. All good. All right, let's check our control directions on the tail. So let's go ahead and move her down to the end here. And we'll go ahead and focus in. All right. Let's go left and right. Just make sure, okay, so right. Should be plushing the blades this way. That's good. And left, okay. Checked off on that one. Good to go. And lastly, let's make sure everything is correcting the right direction. So let's focus in on here. So when we move the nose, down, the swash should, and it might be a little hard to see, the swash should pitch back. You know, it looks like it is. So our nose down, the swash is kind of going like that a little bit. That's good. And then when we turn to the left, we should see, and sometimes you just need to look at the, the servos themselves. Sometimes you look at the arm. So if you look at my arm on that servo, if I roll, to the right here, physically moving the orientation of the heli, you can see that the servo is pushing up, which is making the swash plate roll left. So that's good. I think everything's right. That's great. And finally, we have our Fusion 480 stretch set up with the 6250 HX flight controller from Spectrum. If you guys have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and you can message us directly on the Spectrum RC Facebook page or at horizonhobby.com, or feel free to give our experts in our product support department a call about this system. Make sure to stay tuned for some more videos on the 6250HX where we'll be setting up safe, going over smart technology utilizing the 6250HX, and a more in-depth tuning video so you can get the best performance out of your Flybarless Helicopters. This is Tom from Horizon Hobby signing off. Thanks for watching and happy flying.